myself all situated here. Give me a couple minutes. Oh, I'm shaking y'all about. <clears throat> It just takes me a minute. It's hard to see the setup from the little screen preview it shows you. So it's hard to tell if you're like doing what you're supposed to do. Okay, I think we're good. Let me get to where we need to be. Get on here so I can see it. I have my little guy home in the other room watching a show so we'll see how he does and let me see here we are on not the series hi darla yeah, I don't have a ton of time today either, so we'll see how much I can get done today. Um, I might have to break this one up into two sections. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to hop right in and get going today. Uh, we are on to day seven, sharing everyone's layouts live, which is so exciting. We're getting there. Make sure this is nice and as bright as I can make this. Uh, today's sketch um, for day seven was created by Maggie Crawley Meniker, I think is how you say it. And I loved her sketch. It was fun to play with. There we go. Just a little bit more. And we have 156 comments. So that doesn't mean we have 156 layouts to share, but not quite as much as yesterday, but still a good portion of fun layouts to share. So I'm excited. And how is that? Um, it's quite a bit with the, the blinds. So I'm going to bug my little kitty here. He's going to get mad at me. I'll see if that helps at all. I think it's better. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, so... We're gonna dig right in here. We're starting with the lovely Brandy Jo. She did a wreath sign. I didn't even talk about the sketch. I just told you who created it. Let's go back to the beginning here. <laughs> the sketch gives you the option to have this fun border, a circular element of whatever type you wanted. And then she even gave us the little detail to pop out, um, to pop up the cut out circle. So like you could do it in multiple ways. I think we all kind of did it a little bit differently, but she just kind helped inspire you on how to go if you wanted to and it is a one photo sketch she did hand draw it which I think is amazing so I was excited that she submitted a sketch for this round Brandy went ahead with two photos a fun title down at the bottom here and just used a wreath kept the border idea and did some splatters hold on Barrett are you okay yeah. what was that Okay, I will be right back, everyone. I heard a big, loud crash. My kid's okay, but I have to see what it is. Oh. Okay, it's just a big old pile of books in a basket that fell on the ground. We're fine. <clears throat> Let's see here. So that was Brandy's. I love the green of that. It's very pretty. We have Maggie on her own take. I love how she did the one photo here and she followed in with the hexagons like she saw in her um, in her own sketch and she just kind of followed her own sketch pretty closely changed the orientation of her photo um, but I love this little embellishment cluster she's got going on it's really fun Rebecca so Rebecca went oh this is so fun it's a Batman theme so <laughs> photo with Batman. I'm loving how she took on this upper cluster here. 
really fun and playful. She's got a cluster down here as well. And she just cut out a circle and put it on top of um, a background that works so perfectly this pattern paper. I'm sure that some of us would struggle using that, but she rocked it. Um, she's saying that the sketch jumped at her, so I'm not, I think that just means she really liked it. It was easy for her to do, I'm assuming. I don't really know, but I love it. We have Susan, who went soft and pretty. She shrunk down the circular element, but she's got the upper cluster here. One photo, some lovely journaling, and her title. It's great. I, this is a old crepe paper um, collection. I used to have that. Very pretty. Kathy. Ooh, this is fun. She has a photo back from 1978, so a class photo she's documenting, and totally went with that theme. Hi, Melly. Um, totally went on with that theme. I love how she used the big floral. It totally gives off 70s vibes to me. Hi, Moira. Uh, it's just fabulous. I love the distressed edges, too, and I think she's got some faux stitching going on, which is really pretty. I love it. Kathy did awesome with that one. We have... She loosely followed this sketch, a square-ish circle. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Gloria. I are these are fun to do, aren't they? I enjoy doing it, doing them. Um, I'm actually talking talking in my head, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna say thinking, but the word talking came out about going back and doing this with all the past series as well, um, that I didn't really get to do them. So we did them with the last, the very last series, but other than that, I haven't really had a chance to share. So I think I'm going to do that on my off time, go back and do the other series. Cause I think this is a popular thing. But to get back into this, so Rosalind, I love that you took and switched it and made it work for you. You took out the circle, put in a square instead, but I see the inspiration. I get where you were coming from. Um, and what an awesome pumpkin patch that you get to go visit. That is just stunning. Um, I wonder where it's from. It's just beautiful. That's gorgeous. We have a lovely pumpkin patch too, except it most of the time super muddy. So we don't actually go to the pumpkin patch itself. We get the pumpkins that the farmers have brought to us. <laughs> Jennifer oh I love this so she's gone ahead and done two circles because she had two photos and some trees I'm assuming this is a Christmas yep Christmas layout I love how she put this beautiful Christmas tree paper evergreen trees I guess they're not technically Christmas trees if they don't have lights on them right um against that plaid it's very pretty April Lynn. <clears throat> a doily. Oh, I love this. So she went ahead with a doily here. She's working on some wedding photos. And then went ahead with some circles in the kind of areas that you would see within the sketch. This is fun. I love that. So you can absolutely see how she's kind of rotated it, but those elements were here and here on her layout. And of course, she is an eight and a half by 11 scrapbooker. Yeah, I love the idea of a doily too. It was a smart, first of all, if you are trying to get through 30 sketches, um, it's a fast way to do it, but it's also very smart because it gives off that delicateness, um, especially for documenting a wedding. Holly, oh, this is so gorgeous. I have not seen this process video, so I haven't seen her with her mixed media here, but it's so pretty and I'm not sure if this is her mixed media or if it's what it is, but she's literally taken a square here, cut the circle, placed it on the background paper there. And then look at all those amazing photos. I love it. Very cool. Holly, this one might be my favorite one yet this month. Wait, mommy, you're talking. I know you can see it on the big TV, can't you? Did you want to say hi? Gloria! Well, I'm talking. See, can you see? 
uh, it's a little delayed but do you see my hand because I'm looking we're looking at all the, the layouts so you want to put your hand in and say hi hi <gasps> okay now it'll show up in a minute there it is can you go and watch your show for a couple minutes okay you can go get a juice juice okay go get a juice and sit down okay 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 bye okay sorry gloria i love this you absolutely like oh it's just so much fun so she absolutely popped it up i'm assuming with some fun foam there um, is that a background like is this circle piece a cup file or a background? I'm so curious. I love that. Um, and then all these florals. Bingo was stickers, fussy cutting, circles, single photo, uh, mixed media, distressed inner circle, pre-made title, and florals. Oh, it's lovely. It's so pretty. The little guy has discovered he could put his hand in and this is what's going to happen for the rest of the day. <laughs> Joyce, we have a football layout. Oh, this is so fun. Mommy. Yes, I know. Um, can, I, can I touch this? No. I love how you just, I mean, this is fabulous. How many different sports could you do that with? So you could do every sport you could think of. You just use whatever ball shape is going on there. Use a sports photo. If you have one of those background papers, you could absolutely use those. And you're good to go. I love it. That's so clever. Huh? Okay. I would like you to please go get your juice and sit down and watch your show like I asked. If you're a good boy afterwards, we'll go outside and play, okay? Thank you for the hug. Okay, go watch your show. We have Christine. So fun. Just following the sketch. She's got that fun cluster there. I'm assuming that this possibly could be a um, transparency photo and title. Okay, I'm going to go deal with my kid. Okay. I'd say sorry, but every time I say sorry, you guys tell me it's part of life and not to apologize. So I'm sorry, but I get it. <laughs> what do we have here? Eve. Oh, this is fun. Okay. So thank you for not putting your photos in that you don't want shared on the internet. Um, for the bingo, she has done the upper left to lower right. So she did a multiple photo, the wood veneer, a free space, pre-made title, and puffy stickers. I love this. I'm not, assuming this is probably a pattern paper that has this little blocking on it for like a boy theme layout, but it's so cool. I, it's fabulous. And I love all the little trucks. I'm assuming they're probably fun little photos of a little boy playing with his cars or something. I just love this. Really fun. Playful. We have Deb. Ooh, Deb, you went different with this one. Um, she's showcasing her basic gray paper here that she's been hoarding. I think if if you have basic gray paper, most of us hoard it because you don't want to get rid of it. Um, and she rotated the sketch, but I love this. What a fun way to, yes, highlight that really beautiful pattern paper that has probably been in your stash and just been looking at it because it's so pretty. You don't want to use it. I love it. What a great take. Kathy with a sun. Okay, I'm loving all these different shapes, you guys. This, this is awesome. And documenting a boardwalk here. Look at these cute little gems. So much fun. And I love the contrast of the yellow on the orange. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite things, like color combos to, to do especially in summer. Tara. Oh, I love it. Look at the clouds that she used. 
um, for her embellishment cluster there. Really just followed the sketch. I love how her um, border paper has some interest to it. There's some colors up around it. Very pretty. And it's a family photo. It's always fun to get those family photos documented. Cheryl, mixed media. She used watercolors to paint the scalloped circles. Good job. That's fun. Well, and look at the end. I'm assuming then, on top of that, did all this stamping, which is adorable. And then look at the little kitty. Aww. It's a cat thing. That's a great title. Ooh, I need to document Dozer and say it's a cat thing. I love the double scallop. I think that's really fun. I would never have thought to do that. Um, make a full pattern paper like that in whatever shape you did and then place a smaller one on top of it. I love that layering look. I might have to do that. Thanks, Cheryl, for the ideas. I got a title out of your layout and I'm gonna try that layering look. Jessica, so soft and pretty. I love it. Mixed media, I'm assuming that is probably one of those pre-made um, backgrounds. I know it's a little blurry. It's a little blurry on uh, just in general from the photo. So it's, uh, this is why we do it though, right? Like it doesn't matter your photo quality. We want to see your layout. So please don't ever worry about it. Um, but it's that pre-mixed media background, but then she's layered it in with all those beautiful flowers and it's monochromatic. So it is gorgeous. I love this layout. And then we have Ellen, who really just followed the sketch. She even included the hexagons going on there. A sweet photo. How cute is that? Got hearts going on. It's very fun. I love it. We have Anne. Fun, bright, colorful. I love this. The play on patterns and those strips going one way versus the other. That is really fun. And then on top of that, she's got this cute little embellishment cluster and a banner. But most of all, that photo is just everything. I love that photo so much. <laughs> oh, so cute. What a great memory. We have Ginger. Oh. Maybe when, what happened? Uh, what did I do? Well, there. I don't, don't ask me how I did that because I don't know. <laughs> it is, oh, it's a birthday layout. I love it. I have not seen this process video yet. Um, so I'm not sure if this is pre mixed media, if this is hard mixed media. I don't know. But I love all the stars. I love the little balloon. I love it all. It's so cute. Even the little, like, I'm assuming faux stitching. It's great. I love birthday layouts. We have Kim. Maybe we have Kim. It is a fun one. I like that one. Oh, we do. Oh, this one's so cute. Um, She used stars, stick stickers, and enamel dots on this one. And I love it. Those photo, these photos are everything today. <laughs> I love that you're using that um, kaleidoscope looking thing, uh, color wheel. And then I'm assuming this is all Vicky Booten, right? I love it. But these photos just are everything. I love how you made the photos more, more in charge, I guess, than the circle element. Very cool. Can you hear my kid roaring in the background? He's being a dinosaur or a transformer. I'm not sure which one. Or a, or a Power Ranger. It's one of those. <coughs> Jackie. Oh, how pretty. I love this. So it's a travel theme. You can see that. And look at all these little elements that she added. Oh, my goodness. And you know what's... I have to say, Jackie, this almost, I know it's not because I can literally see the carpet in the background, but it looks digital. Like you have placed these elements so perfectly. 
I love this. I love the big map right there. Oh, that's so pretty. I, I love this. I love that. I um, go, We're going on holiday in like less than a month. And so I'm all for travel and I might have to scrap love that. Dana. Aww. Are you laughing so hard you're crying? I'm not really sure what's happening in here, but the photo just looks so sweet. Um, I'm loving this that busy background paper with a circle cut into, oh, it's so good. I love this layering under here where she's tucked pieces in and then has a piece on top. So good. That is so good. Sounds like a dinosaur. You can hear him. Yeah, it sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> No, what did I do? Oh no. Well, at least it's only the first time I've done that today. We should turn this into a drinking game. Every time I get out of where I'm supposed to go, you have to have a drink. Don't talk. We're almost there. We're there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, we have Sandy. Oh, that's fun. Last day of school, so you want it to be a fun layout. This is great. I'm loving the mixed media going on here. Wow. You guys get out of school early. 523. 525. Lucky. We are still in here in BC. I'm not sure if all of Canada does it, but here in BC. Our schools do not get out until the 29th, so we've got another two weeks to go. I love that. That's a really fun layout. Catherine, we got Disney going on. This sketch is perfect for that Disney collection, um, say cheese collection, because you can layer in the busier pattern papers with that, the kind of softer ones. One week to go here. So, ah, you guys get out a week earlier than us. That's not fair. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Yeah, she did. We talked about your awesome layout. Uh, but it's okay. You can watch the replay. It'll be there. I promise. I've only messed up once and my kids come in twice. <laughs> um, I love this though. But yes, the, like this sketch, it works so great for that contrast of busy versus simplistic. You could go with that. And then, of course, the photos are super cute, so it doesn't really matter what you do because your photos are so adorable. They're going to stick out. Ooh, Karen, this is fabulous. So this cut file came in. It's Johnny Baptiste on the 24th. It's our official beginning of summer. So, in other words, we all should be celebrating Quebec holidays here in Canada, and then we can all get out early because... We do not need to be in school the last week of June. Just saying. Karen, this layout is amazing. I recognize this cut file. <laughs> it came in from the place we don't talk about. And I've read half of that. Your grandkids don't get out quite yet either. Sorry, I'm on my phone. I couldn't see the comment. I missed it. Um, but she's used flare. She's butterfly. She's monochromatic. It's just gorgeous and I love this so much she did stitching she did it all oh okay everyone drink <laughs> I'm gonna drink my water okay close your eyes And, uh, we're almost there. Okay, you can open your eyes again. <laughs> Louis, oh, Louis, I love this. Look at the puppy. Wait. Hi. See you want to see the puppy? I love the background paper. Oh. It's cute, huh? Um. I thought I got there. It is right there. I love these flowers. Those are those flowers we all got but from Michael's in that see. little cup thing. There. And uh, she used foam. So she used rainbow foam, fussy cutting, 
double border Ooh. and vellum. It's pretty cool. I love it. I like how the circle's there, but it wasn't like large and in charge. For this one with that photo, I feel like that worked really well. Mel. Oh, that's fun. Are you giving everyone a thumbs up? <laughs> we have. Oh, she definitely had to. Yeah. Oh. I just go back shopping. Yeah, we did just get back from shopping. Um, The scalloped look, look going on here. I She's got to post this video. I have to go and watch this, how she did this. I'm sorry. Everything's shaking now. Um, shaking out. But she did the stamping. Oh, she's oh, got oh. the shake circles going on. Shake I love this. It's monochromatic. It's summer themed. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this sounds really fun. Even the background paper. Look at that fun stripe that's back there. That brings so much interest to this layout. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what are you doing, Barrett? <laughs> well, your head would have to be this way. You have to look at the camera. This camera. You have to put your head this way and look at the camera. Oh, I got your... I think we saw your eye. Um, Carolyn! Oh, there you are. Look, dude. So look, watch. Just a minute. Give it a second. We're a little delayed. There you are! <laughs> okay, please go watch your show. I have like 10 more to do. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, Carolyn, following that sketch really closely. I love these leaves that are going on here it's a fall Those layout the right. and there's just the right. at least the cat's going behind my camera so you can't quite tell um there's a really pretty mixed media I'm gonna I'm gonna Dosa. okay barrett the camera. you're shaking everything but um Dosa. there's Dosa. a really pretty i think it might be trees actually now that i'm looking at it Can i know it's shaking Dosa. it's hard to see uh but it's Why really pretty and I love I it. Dozer. You can't see Dozer because Dozer's behind the... Behind. Mm. Do you see me? Moira! Oh, yeah, we see a... I see. <laughs> Look. Moira, I haven't seen this. I don't know how I haven't seen this one yet, but I love it. How fun. I can't see it. That's so fun. I haven't seen this press video either, but she's got shaker pocket oh. going on here. I can't see it. Well, I think like, look at that. That's yeah. not that um, Oh, is this your, Mommy. is this your heater? Is it just, are you documenting the cold? Okay. Mommy. I haven't seen it, Mommy. so I don't know. That's but I'm Mama assuming. Oh, it does look, yeah. She's all bundled. That's Moira. No? Yeah, Moira. She's all bundled up because it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. I love it, Moira. It's a fabulous layout. Sherry, God, oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> Why is it that? That's a baby. <laughs> it is a baby. Ew. This is so pretty and soft. <laughs> I love it. I like Wait, everything no about this. Grandma. That's it's this little baby. It's her Gigi and Grandpa. Oh, yeah. But that's Grandpa. Oh, minus twenty-seven. Oh. oh, it was the change. Okay, oh. so Moira's layout was a change from being really cold Maya, to hot. Baby. Which makes sense. I kind of remember us talking about that, but I didn't realize that's what you were scrapbooking. <laughs> we have Cindy. Ooh. Wait, this Nana? No, none of these are Nana. That was Nana. It's not Nana. Her name is Cindy. Cindy? Mm hmm. Oh, what's Papa? No. Wait, that's our house? No. Why? <laughs> what? Okay, from the bingo board, Cindy used no pattern paper, oh, wood not. veneer, circles, numbers, and a double border. Mommy. I love it. Look at that. Oh, I love it. And the scissors. Mm-hmm. There's scissors. There's shaker pockets with the sequins. There's all the things. Yeah. It's so much fun. Yeah. I just mm -hmm. love this. Sequins on the rainbow. I should save us on the like there. There's scissors. There's a camera. So what a fun cuff file. I might what's need that, that cuff file. What's that? What's this? It's, oh, you shook it. That's what's showing the, um, it's showing the photos. Mm -hmm. And then I'm talking and people are listening. So when they play this I back, talk. they're going to think we're all a bunch of crazies. I will talk. 
I wear. You are talking, but you're supposed to be in watching the show. I don't want to talk. Um, ooh. Okay. Oh, I like this that. one. I so like the that one. music notes. Just going flying up where the hexagons were. I love the green. It does give off a good um, balance with the, the harp going on there. Very pretty. Look at that. That's <gasps> Mommy. Mm -hmm. That's Grandma. It's not Grandma. Yes, it is. We have Sue. Ooh. I like this one too. Um, so documenting a trip. Uh, I love this additional photo up at the top. That's really cute with the tags. So clever because if you had more than one photo. Uh, plus if you have. Hi. You missed all the craziness of my kid. He's still here. But you missed, you missed nothing because he's just been entertaining us. Um, we've got the explore going on. Oh Barrett. Love okay you. bud. But mommy, no. I'm trying to see you. You don't touch that, please. Stop. It's touching things. To touch. Um, we have the mixed mommy. media going on. Not right now, I'm please. To... Okay, I'm... when I'm done, we'll do that. But I need you to go watch your show. No. Then go sit on the bed. No, I don't want to watch um, this. From the bingo board, she has used mixed media, distress edges, flare, pre-made title, and a rainbow. I love this. That's fun. I like how it kind of matches you see Dosa? in with the you wanna see Dosa? color she has from the Baltimore Society. Uh, wanna see Dozer? I don't want to see Dozer. Barrett, leave him alone. He might attack you. Wanna see Dozer? We're going to have to put in parentheses this episode may make you seasick. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There we go. Brianna! Oh, this is fun. I love this Vicky Boone paper. I use it in a different way, but I love seeing all the different ways that it's been used. But how great to just leave it as is. Add in the cute little birthday embellishments, add the photo, put your title, and it's done. And it's still so impactful because of that background. Yep. Love it. Ruth. Ooh, this one scared me at first, but yeah. once I got started, it came together really quickly. I'm scared. You're scared. Mm -hmm. I think you rocked this. I love. Yeah, I just think that's in the back one. No, this wouldn't be Jackson. Um, I love how you've done like a monochromatic thing going on there. I love all these little bits. Mama, you see so Daddy cool. and Mommy. That is Daddy and Mommy. Yep. It's really pretty. I'm glad you gave this a try, even though it scared you, um, because this is fabulous. And I look, make up the big shopping. Yeah, uh, and you got a really awesome memory documented. So I'm so proud of you for giving this one a shot, Ruth. You did awesome. Um, wait, I'm gonna buy some food. You did go shopping and buy some food. You're right. Um, Terry, wow. That's in me. <sighs> Is this, in instead of a circle, I used a square so paper cool. of the kitchen in this paper. I am, this is Mom, awesome. That's a kitchen. Now I'm wondering, Terry, are you doing this as, you have a YouTube video for this, so I'll go check it out. But is this like a whole recipe book, or is this just going in your regular 12 by 12 album? I would love to know, because this is so neat. I love it. And now I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to make some potato soup and see how it turns out. Soup. What soup? That's what the photo was. Was of soup. Yeah. Little Lily. Ooh, this is so pretty. Yeah. I will do the title when I get the photos for this layout. I almost never just add the one photo, so I added another. I'm on a roll with the mixed media. You are. Your mixed media has been on point. Um, it's lots of fun. So I love this. Again, she's got that beautiful monochromatic going on. Look at those hexagons. Look at that. Really fun. We have Jennifer. A dog. I say a dog. It is a dog. And butterflies and a purple. Yep, and there's purple. It, Nora loves purple. She would love this layout. Yeah. I love how you have the title down there. And this photo is just everything. So pretty. I love the mixed media too. Great take on the sketch. Just following it pretty closely there. 
Jennifer. So she's she's an eight and a half by eleven scrapbooker. We talk about this a lot. It is you. Um, and I love this, you guys. So there's the photo. She I she's put a a blah 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 a sequin shaker there. Plus lined the entire thing with sequins, and this is just gorgeous. I love it. So pretty. And then I I'm wondering if this is possibly washi tape around the outside. Gorgeous. Mona. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven photos on here. They're little, they're but they're, photos. they're seven photos. But they're flowers, so you don't have to be crazy. And I you're eat, highlighting. I the, need the ice cream. You are. You're highlighting the big photos of mommy, the people you're with. Mommy, so. Ice cream. Okay, well, if you're a good boy, maybe we'll have some in a little bit. Okay. I love this. This is so much fun. I love how you were able to get all those photos out of a cut file. It's so soft, um, but spring, it definitely gives off that spring vibe that you're trying to give off. What's Shayla. That? What's that? Those are flowers. That's not what do flowers. You say? Hey, what do you say? Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. We That's have... not a flower. Okay. Um, I love... Ooh, is this the all pattern paper? I don't know what that is, but it's yeah. cool. Yeah. I really love how this looks against the fun photo. You got the little embellishments going on. A little bit of distressing. Very fun. I'm going to go baby right back. Okay. Fatima... Ooh, so one of those pattern papers that has the um, foil on it, and then she's put a marble look on top of it. That's really cool, and though. We have a blue water bottle. Mm -hmm. It's big. I like that. We'll have Jesus and coffee. Is that a coffee house? Oh, that's really cute. What a great way to document that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, here's mine. I documented my daughter. Used up one of those. Um, I got a new cut from Coco Vanilla I Studio. I got a new one. Yes, you the... did. And I, I that's did. Nora it baby. is Nora, and I added mm. butterflies to mine. So that's yeah. I took mine on. I fussy and cut then, the inside of it so I can tuck my you. photo in. And Daddy, Mommy it is me and Daddy. You're right. Hi, Coco. Can we call Oh, thanks, Daddy, Moira. can we call Daddy? Can we call Daddy? If you go sit and watch a show, we'll call Daddy when we're done. Yeah. Okay, go sit and watch your show. Oh. Jennifer, um, she used a wood veneer banner and hearts. Oh, she did butterflies, too. I, I love that. And I this. Okay, bye. And all the prettiness going on. Um, Tree of Life. That's in, like, the actual tree of light. Like, I don't, I don't know. Oh, this is cool, though. I love, <laughs> I've, he's distracted me so much, I've, I'm out to left field now. But what I really love, actually, the most in all of this is her background paper up here is the same color as the sky. And I just think that ties everything in together and is really pretty. Amanda, ooh, that's fun. Look at all the distressing she's got going on there, tucked in the photo. This is a great summer layout. Very, very fun. I love all the little pieces tucked in. And we have Fawn, ooh, again with a wreath going on. I That's what I saw the sketch and I immediately was like, I'm using a wreath. That's just what came to my mind. So it's been fun to see all the different takes and not necessarily everyone using a wreath. The one photo. So pretty. Very classic. Melody. Ooh, so she's documenting some cooking um, and some bread and the little embellishments, I know it's hard to see, but the little embellishments are little bits of baked goods, which is very cool. 
That's a great layout. I love the monochromatic too of matching it with the color of bread with the brown there. Sarah! There we go. Um, I love this. This is just so stunning. <laughs> it's so pretty. And she's got that beautiful green in the background. She's done her mixed media and then these leaves to match with the photo. It's just very, very pretty. I am a fan. Lori. Ooh, a globe. That's clever. So she's documenting wherever they're at Vegas or whatever. Um, something. But I love the clusters. So she has some Vicky Booten clusters, like from the storyteller collection going on there. But using that globe paper is so clever and then covering up a little bit of this busier background paper and getting the blue that matches with the bird is very cute. Amanda, oh, the viewfinder. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love it so much. Photo is precious. Oh, this is great. And the same idea of a busy background paper, but then covering it up so it's you got a little bit of it taken out. Oh, this is pure perfection. Maybe my scrap lift of the day. I really like that one. Mallory, super cute and adorable. And I love how she's got her hexagons kind of clustered up here with some journaling. That's a great take on it too. Her border is also, um, she's cut it out and I think put it on top, but it looks like it's not, I lied. It's just distressed, but the way she's distressed, it almost makes it look like she's cut and put the border on top of the checked paper, but I can see it now. She's just trimmed this checked paper in, but it's gorgeous. Love it. I like to make things harder on myself, so I would have done it the other way. Janet. Ooh, uh, that's fun. Using bicycle gear chain as the circle elements. Wow, uh, that is so cool. I love that. I have not seen this process video, but I'm sure it's amazing. Lisa. Ooh, a banner again. We've seen a couple of these banners, which is cute. And we've seen fall themed. This sketch is bringing out the fall in us. Um, I love this very stark, beautiful fall tree next to these greens. That's really cool. <laughs> Lisa, very, very fun. Darla. Ooh. So again, this is one of those. Um... I'm so sorry. <gasps> I'm not even tired, but it's well, I'm getting fresh air. <laughs> Apparently my brain thinks I am. What is this from? Um, 49th and Market, right? I love this. I, I'm pretty sure it's all probably from 49th and Market, but this is a perfect pattern paper for this sketch. Got an awesome family photo used up. Just fabulous. Lori. Ooh, I love this addition of rainbows going up this way and then putting the idea of the sketch on top of it. That is really neat. That's a very fun take. She just pulled all the random stuff she could find and I think this is fabulous. What a neat take. Lori, I really like that. And we got Pamela. Oh, who used a cut file with all the fun summer themes, documenting summer vacation, maybe wherever they're at. Very cool. Coco Vanilla Studio background paper there. I love it. I love that one. Helen. She just joined back on. Oh. Well, welcome, Helen. We're excited to have you. Your layout is beautiful. I love the simplisticness of it, actually. 
with that white cardstock on top of that blue because the the clothing is obviously in blue but then all those little elements popping up um which is really 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 pretty it's a great take Ooh, we got our first double pager holly we are fans of double pagers so thank you i love it i see the sketch inspiration here that big photo and then you just stretch it to make it work with all your other photos very very fun great sports layout there Kristen why is it doing that why I don't need you to describe what the image is I just want to see the image there we go Ooh, that's fun so this background paper here is popsicles um which is that mm -hmm. Which is really fun because she's documenting a beach house and using this really beautiful line that I can't remember where it's from. But I remember this card. I have that. Very cute. Whoa, careful, bud. Very, very cute. I love it. I'm okay. You're okay. Holly did a Christmas themed. Oh, having some hot chocolate going on there. I love it on top of the plaid. Very pretty. That's just kind of following the sketch, but in all the right, all the right ways. That's me. No, Beth. Ooh, so she did a sun, but look at on that beautiful background with the butterflies. Mm -hmm. That is just playful and fun. Documenting Ooh. little brother meeting baby there. That's so cute. Oh, I adore that. It's very very cute. My kid is just <laughs> Helen. Ooh, I love the mixed media. I like this idea of this polka dot, even though it's got that white background on top of the white. It really, with the mixed media she's done, it really stands out. Very fun. There is a process video if you want to see how Helen did that. Ooh, oh, that one's fun. It's a sun. So she used a design um, from the 2017 and eclipse. That's so cool. Think, so she'll have, she'll have her, her. Have her photo, photo here. I can't talk. And uh, I love the big title, though. It just brings it all in together. That is really fun. What an awesome way to document the eclipse. Kathy flipped it. I like it. She did flare from the bingo board and she let the paper do most of the work, which is exactly what you should do. You make life easier on you. So when you have paper that can do the work for you, I highly suggest doing it. I noticed that about some sketches too, is you'll see a sketch and automatically you think of a pattern paper. Um, not even necessarily a story or anything like that. It's a pattern paper your brain goes to. If it does that, you should grab it and use it. Harriet. Can I call Nana? In a minute. Um, did, oh, how fun a cheerleading layout. Wow. I love this. It is part of a two page. I wanna, I wanna practice this. Mm -hmm. And that is just so fun. So she just took on the circular element. She needed to have space for her photos, but I see where she went with it and how she got there. Wow. Very fun. Fun. It's fun. Michelle. Look at that. Ooh. I love the two photos. I can't see her face. Mm -hmm. And the vi Barrett. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Please go sit down. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Let me fix. Oh. I love how she did the visual triangle of the flowers. It's so pretty. Very, very cool. We have Trina, who did a summer theme with a beach. There's been a few beach layouts on this one as well. I also love how she's got the floral clusters going on 
and then her title up at the top with the journaling. I'm thinking um, this is a digital layout, but very, very pretty. Holly, I think we saw that. We like this one, Holly. It's very pretty. Anja. Ooh. So mixed media in, I think that's part of one of those Fortinet, the market uh, pattern papers, but I love how she's paired it with this paper that I don't think is from the same collection. They work so well together. And again, baby meeting baby. So cute. Don't touch that loose. That's Emma. That's a cat. That is a cat. Um, so she actually just, oops. Sorry. Um, Ashley went with the idea of using the, just one big hexagon because that's what she saw from the sketch. And then, yeah, I love it. Very fun. Documenting a kitty cat. This is her needy new coworker. I've got one of those right now. Don't touch. Oops. And I just, I love it. This is really fun. I want to scrap lift this one too. Karen. I don't want to show. No, not yet. Documenting camping. Oh, I love this. I love how there is a tag right there. But you have got to stop. You are shaking it, okay? Mm. And she's used flare. Mm. Busy. I like actually the busy background on the busy background. It's very fun. Mm. Well, you've got to stop shaking it, dude. I like that one. It's different, but like... Something I wouldn't personally think to do, but I love how she's mixed those pattern papers. Laura. Oh, I'm missing tooth documentation. That's cute. Um, a Vicky Booten background paper following in with those hexagons. That is really cute. Just using the sketch to its advantage. Hey, Tracy. Ooh, that's pretty. So a fall layout. Again, we've got that 49th and market going on here. <laughs> very, very pretty. Lynn. Ooh. So, well, first of all, thanks Lynn for using me as inspiration, but she went ahead and followed in with the wreath there. And then she's got that really pretty bits in there. But this photo is just everything. I love this photo so much. Gorgeous. MK. That's a cool, so a winter vibe going on there. Using up some bits and pieces here. Snowflakes, fun title. That's very pretty. I think maybe some stamping or an acrylic piece there as well. Kristen. Documenting a tiger forest. Oh, so she used, to, oh, I love this. This is such a great way to use up paper like this. <laughs> so clever. That is just fabulous. I love that. And it's Mickey. I see a Mickey head, so is this Disney themed? I'm not. I don't know what the Tiger Force is, so I couldn't tell you, but I love that. Laura. Sorry, we've moved it so much that I can't quite. Okay. Ooh, 4th of July, it's rotated. Plus, we've got a circle inside a square, and I love that. Ooh. Um, I love how she's like, I had to flip it because of the photo orientation, but it's perfect. Like, this is so perfect. The best 4th of July layout. Ooh. 
We have Pauline. Butterflies. I love the butterflies. This is very pretty and documenting, um, you know, wall art, murals. So pretty. Um, ooh, a Christmas layout. That's really fun. And so she took on the sketch, right? You have the circle here and the photo, but then she's made it work with adding some more strips and just adding things to make it work for her. That's very cute. I like that one. We're almost there. We've got Natalie, who went the hexagon direction as well. This is a great boy themed masculine layout. That is just fantastic. And Jamie, ooh, so sh middle shaker pocket. Is that stitching? Oh my gosh, did you stitch that? Embroidery, she hand embroidered that. <gasps> Drop the mic, like, you've got to be kidding me. This is amazing, this is amazing. Jamie, amazing. I I am blown away by this. I can hand stitch, I cannot embroider. And embroidering on paper, that's never gonna happen for me. But that was just amazing. Uh, Anna, ooh, this is, it's fun to go from something like simple, simplistic, just stunning in one way, to bright and fun and playful in another. I love all the different takes and all the different inspiration that can happen within these. Um, so she really enjoyed this sketch, putting it together. Um, I love all the brightness going on. It's just playful and fun. My kid is destroying my house now. <sighs> Maureen. Ooh, that's fun. So we've got a sports theme going on again. She's rotated the sketch, but look at all the little bits she got to use up. So cool. Is my phone gonna die? Okay, I have to really be fast because my phone is gonna die. And if it cuts out, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. How many more do we have? We have Sochi's, which did a Halloween one. Amazing. This is so cool. Oh, that's just fabulous. She redid it. I love this. I don't even have words for how cool that one is. Spider web action. Kayleen. 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 Um, just following the sketch really closely. I love the hot little air balloon in the clouds. Diane. Flipped it hexagons. I love this purple on orange. That is gorgeous. Parade ready. How fun. That's a very cool layout. Karen, eight and a half by 11 or six by eight. I love these little pearls going on here to represent what she's documenting and the hexagons just following the sketch. Lisa, very pretty. I love the floral bits. Again, just using the sketch to its advantage. Very, very pretty. Tara flipped it. Um, that is cool. She's got mixed media going on there. All these fun little promleys. I'm assuming this is all a bunch of Vicky Booten stuff. Very, very, very pretty. Lori. Ooh, that's fun. So I'm assuming a pre-mixed media, but then she's added the hexagons and she has two photos. This is a great water layout. A double pager by Elizabeth. I love that. So a wreath with the butterflies and then stacked with those three beautiful photos. So pretty. And Kathy, ooh, bowling. What a fun, this is another idea, right? You use the shape of whatever sport you're using and then attach your photos. 
that was really cool. Great option there. Simone, oh my goodness. Look at all these bits and pieces. That is so cool. Anyone want to dig out all their embellishments now and do this? Because I do. That's just fantastic. Tina. She made a flower hexagon. That's so cool. So she's got hexagons and a nice visual triangle. She's documenting getting crafty. Very fun. Very, very fun. And I think that's it. We made it. My phone is going to die, so I'm going to jump off here. Um, if you made it through this one, you guys are all stars because this was a bit of a rough one. <laughs> I will try to do this as he's napping next time or um, if Sean is home. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I love this sketch. I love how a lot of people, I want to just go back to Tina's for just a minute, um, went ahead and used the idea of trimming down this middle paper, cutting it, and then laying it down on, on a full sheet of pattern paper. I never saw the sketch looking at it like that. So that is just really neat. Um, I love to see how everyone else interprets sketches because I see them and I look at how other people see them and I was like, how did I not see it that way? Um, and so I hope that helps you too and gives you inspiration with ideas of things to be scrapbooking about, the season, the design, I don't know, the paper to use, whatever have you. So anyways, thank you so much. I will be back. Um, probably not tomorrow. It's a busy one. So I probably won't be back till Monday to be honest, but if I can sneak something in this weekend, I will. Otherwise I will see you guys on Monday. Bye everyone.